Hey YouTube, JW. I'm gonna do an EDC knife video for you here today. I did one a few months back, and uh, you know I get a lot of questions and comments. Uh, you know, what do I carry, etc. And I do have a lot of knives, um, but I don't really carry that many, and I don't really abuse my knives that much because I don't need to. Um, uh, you know, I don't need to beat them up just to beat them up. So, you know, bear in mind that the knives that I have here and use are what I use them for. So, you know, they may not be for everyone. This is what I have. And there are other knives that I would like to get that I just haven't yet. So, but this is what I've got now, and this is kind of what the, the rotation has been. And uh, number one is my 530 Benchmade. You see that pocket clip there is getting a little bit worn. Uh, other than that, great knife. Um, it's got just a little bit of back and forth play on the blade. I mean, just a little. I mean, nothing really. Other than that, it's still rock, rock solid. And I have used this knife quite a bit. And it's my number one. It's so light and so thin. You know, I work from home, so, uh, you know, when you wear stretchy pants, you can put this on, ain't gonna wet your pants down. And, and that's important because, you know, I, I'm so used to carrying a knife that I feel nude if I don't have, I mean, I know that's a terrible image, but I, I uh, I gotta have a knife. I like this. It suits me in any situation. Absolutely great knife. Uh, number two would probably be, uh, I'd say it's probably my Spyderco Tenacious. Um, I have used this knife quite a bit. Uh, it has developed a little bit of a, if you can see that, see that on the edge. I was prying around on something that I shouldn't have, and this steel, uh, the HCR 13 MOV, it's not the hardest steel in the world. It's not like 440 stainless or something where you can use it as a fucking pry bar. I mean, but it's a good knife. It's still absolutely rock solid. Um, great knife. Looks good, carries good. For the price, pretty tough to beat. Really, my favorite carry knife is my Rat 1. Um, if I'm out in the woods or if I'm wearing you know, pants, jeans, don't mind a little bit heavier, bigger folder because I really do like big folding knives. But just not around the house, you know. When I go out, it's you know this gonna be this guy. I like this this dude here, you know. But around the house or just whatever, this is it. I think I'm gonna put a lanyard on this too. But I mean, I forget that I have this on. I lay I could lay down in bed and go to sleep and not even know that I have this. And it, it always works great. My hand just I mean, absolutely, that bolt action lock system, you can whoop, do what you're doing, put it back in, your quick, easy pocket clip works great, slips right in the pocket, stays where it's supposed to. I can't say enough about that knife, um, but yeah, the Rat 1, I love it. I love how the Rat 1 has that round, it's rounded, you know what I mean? It's got a little bit of jumping here, but it just, I don't know, it just feels, I just, great, in the hand, that's what she said. Um, now, if I'm wanting to feel a little bit strange, which I have carried a few times, but, I mean, it just depends on the circumstances. There's the straight out the front, which is a, really, it's a good knife, but... 
this would be more of a knife that you would not really be carrying in my opinion you would just have it in the shop in your uh, tackle box in your truck something that's going to be really good as a utility tool uh, but not necessarily something you're going to want to carry all day every day especially depending on what kind of clothes you have um, and while I'm on that note uh, I keep this in my truck just to you know whatever and I've gotten more comments and more people that hate this knife than you would believe and I don't know what it is about it I mean the knife is rock solid. I mean, would I choose this over a more conventional knife? No. But, I mean, I think it's flat. It doesn't take up any space. And it's weird with this thumb hole, but honestly, once you use this and press that out and get your hand gripped in here... For a self-defense weapon, the way this is locked in to your hand, somebody is not going to be able to take this away from you very easily with your finger through this hole. Okay? Whether it was just like this and they get a hold of it and pry it out of your hands. When you're fucking locked in there, you got a spike in your fists. Okay? That's what this knife is good for. So... Is it the best knife in the world? No, it's a it's an oddball. But I'm an oddball. But I'm telling you, there ain't nothing wrong with this knife. I mean, it is what it is. Um, if I'm feeling a little bit more conventional, like I had to go to a funeral, which I don't really carry conventional, whatever you want to call it, gentleman pocket knives very often. Uh, but I had to go to a funeral the other day. And this is what I chose to carry because unless I go somewhere that doesn't allow knives and they physically will search me or I have to go through the metal detector, I will always have a knife. And this is just a little wanger. Um, great little knives. Uh, it may sound weird, but in my sharpening experiences, it seems like I can get the wanger sharper than the Victorinox. I don't know what the difference is or if there is a difference. But, um, Kind of out of the neck knife things, uh, but I do. You may have saw my last video in the woods. Got this little tracer uh, buck, and uh, I have used this thing, man. And it is uh, steel. I, th I think it's just 440, but doesn't sharpen up to a super razor sharp edge. But it works. Not bad. You know, and that's what I'm talking about. It's not the most, you don't have to have the most expensive knives in the world. I mean, you can have a little, like a knife I just got in the mail this morning. A little bit of different knife, you know. Bought this for five bucks. It's a Japanese knife. But when I see weird stuff like this, I buy it. Because I like stuff that's different knives from other countries. But I tell you what, that baby's sharp. And for an all-around utility knife around the house and the garage, these knife, these little knives like this are very good. This little slip joint knife. I literally just got that in. Uh, and then, you know, some of my newer knives, I've got the two from the Emerson lineup. I've got the seven here. Great knife. Uh, I've got a video on this one. Uh, it does have a little bit of play there on this frame lock, liner lock, whatever you want to call it, it doesn't engage far enough. Over. And uh, once you grip it, it's okay. You let off, it's a little loose. But hell, I mean, are we being too particular for a $35 knife? Remember what knives were like back in the day? I mean, yeah, there was the box. They had no play, but I don't know. I like this knife. It looks great. And then I've got the the eight, which I prefer. I haven't got a chance to carry this, but a couple times. But this is the more liner lock, not the frame lock. 
you know, there, and uh, a little bit bigger knife, got the chisel grind, it's just a little bit longer, but I prefer the profile of the handle, I prefer the full G10 as opposed to the stainless on one side, and for me, it fits, uh, it fits in my hand better. I prefer the A. Not to mention, it looks like frickin' uh, Darth Vader's pocket knife. These babies are hot right now. Um, I don't carry a lot of automatic knives anymore. Here's one that I used to carry. It's just a copy of the Protec Godfather. And uh, this is actually, you can get this for about 25 bucks. This has been a good knife. Uh, it's in my chest over here. I haven't messed with it in a while. Some people don't like it. There's no safety, but I mean, you have to depress the button to get it to come out. Um, This was a limited edition from Blade HQ that I got a couple years ago. It's a Kalashnikov. Don't carry it as much anymore, but as far as automatics go, I like it. Uh, it's Aus 8 steel. I haven't had the absolute best luck with Aus 8. I think it's a very good steel, but I just can't get this shit sharp. I, I don't know what it is about it with me. It's just like my SOG Flash. I mean, this, I, I've had this thing for years, four years, uh, and it's Osage steel, and knife held up great, and, you know, and I've, abused, I've used this for at work, and my last job, and, and everything, and uh, it's okay, but, you know, I just can't get the edge on it that I would like to have. For whatever reason, I thought it was, you know, the blade profile of this tunnel, but this one's the same way. I can get them sharp, plenty sharp to, you know, do tasks or whatever I need to do. It's not like they're dull, but um, I just can't get that hair popping sharpness to them. As opposed to like this Shrade SH205, which I won from trading a contest a while back. And when I first got hooked up with Taylor Brands, and um, you know this is the Chinese steel, and I tell you what, it'll, it'll pop hairs, you know, which I really like this blade design. And honestly, this is a great EDC knife. I think this is an overlooked knife. I see these for sale, and nobody buys them. But I want to tell you, they really, um, really is a great EDC knife. Cheap. It's something you don't have to worry about, but I mean, it really just is ergonomic and, and a good knife. I mean, just honestly, in my opinion. Um, and I got this Browning Stone Cold Black Label. Steel's not that good, and it's a heavy duty knife, but I mean, it is rock solid. 440, I mean, this is a skull crusher right here. This is a fighting knife. I mean, this thing is heavy and it is heavy duty. So uh, I'm also like the, the the Browning Black Label lineup. Um, good knives. It's got the flipper and then also the thumb stud opening. Good knife. Um, let's see. That's pretty much it. I mean, there's other knives that may pop into the scenario here and there, but. Really, if, I, if it had to come down to it, uh, that's it. So, that's pretty much what's been going on in my circulation at this point, other than me carrying maybe a vintage knife here and there. So, I appreciate you guys watching and 